Hey everyone, here's a question on parallelogram and the question is two adjacent angles of parallelogram are as 1 is to 2. Find the measure of all the angles of parallelogram. Now we have given the ratio of the two adjacent angle. Now suppose this is a parallelogram. Okay, This is parallelogram and they have not given the angle or the relationship but instead they have given the ratio 1 is to 2. And these are the ratios of two adjacent angle that is that could be any two adjacent like this two adjacent or this adjacent and this two angles are adjacent any two adjacent angles they have taken and they have given a ratio of it we have to find out the all other angle that is all four angles now how to find out first of all whenever they have given the ratio we know that ratios are always given in the reduced form for example Mm, let me take here uh, just this is an example it's not related to question suppose I have a number like 10 upon 15 okay this is uh, uh, like we know that 10 is to suppose I give one give you 10 is to 15 but whenever you're writing the ratio it has to be in a reduced form so this can be written in a fractional form 10 by 15 cancel it 5 threes are 15 so I'm gonna cancel this in 5 table right so uh, 5 twos are 10 and 5 threes are 15 so it, this will become 2 by 3 and we cannot cancel further so ratio is 2 is to 3 if you see here I have cancelled with 5 yeah 10 can be written as 5 uh, 5 into 2 and 3 can be written as 5 into 3 so there is a common factor here 5 yeah similarly here also they have given the ratio 1 is to 2 so there is a common factor there could be common factor it could be 1 it could be 3 4 for any number so for that I'm gonna assume a variable x because the x is actually a common factor here remember you might be seen many examples like many questions uh, where they usually take x whenever there's a related any question related to a ratio so the reason is this because there is a common factor and the ratios are always written in a reduced form so here I'm gonna take my first adjacent angle to be x so the other adjacent angle will be 2x now here x will is nothing but 1x okay or you can simply write down x anything so 1x I have taken because the ratio is 1 is to 2 and x is a common factor right okay now we also know one property of parallelogram that is if you add a two adjacent angle the sum is always 180 degree this is really important one means whenever to you add a two adjacent angle like this two adjacent angle or you can add this two adjacent angle or this angle this angle whenever you add two ad adjacent angle the sum is always 180 degree so here we know two adjacent angle 1x and 2x so if I add them it should be equal to 180 degree so I got an equation here I'm gonna solve the equation get the value of x and from x I'm gonna find out the other angle so 1x plus 2x is 3x is equal to 180 degree now I want only the value of x I don't want 3 here I'm going to transpose 3 to the other side now 3 is in multiplication transpose to this to other side comes in division so 180 divided by 3 now cancel 3 ones are and then 3 6 are 18 and then 0 so we got x is equal to um, 60 so therefore x is equal to 60 degree means you know one angle is 60 then its adjacent angle will be equal to it's 2x right the relation is 2x so 2 into 60 which is equal to 120 degree now let me draw a parallelogram once again here because we have to find out all the angles here we got two angles but we have to find out the other two now suppose this angle is 60 one angle is 60 and I have got the adjacent angle to be 120 yeah now you have learned that in parallelogram opposite angles are equal now suppose this is a b c and d is a parallelogram d and b are opposite angle and opposite angles are equal so angle b will also become 180 one sorry 120 degree similarly a and c are opposite angles of so a is 60 degree then c will also become 60 degree okay how we got this we have used the property of parallelogram that opposite angles are equal we got two angles like first I got the one angle 60 using that I found the adjacent angle because it's twice it's given in the question so the ratio is 1 is to 2 and from there we have found the other angle using a property that opposite angles are equal so therefore measure of
all angles will be 60 120 60 120 so 60 degree then 120 degree then again 60 degree and then 120 degree that's it i hope it's clear how we have done in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching